Hello everyone, uh, my name is Brian Lawrence. I lead the solution engineering team here at uh, Now Secure. And today I'm going to walk through how to go from build to bug in about 15 minutes uh, with, uh, with our automated security testing platform for mobile apps. So we'll start here in Jenkins. Uh, we have a native integration to Jenkins in the uh, Jenkins plugin store. Uh, we also have native integrations for a number of other platforms, uh, Azure DevOps, Circle CI, uh, GitLab, Bitrise. Uh, there are there are options, uh, but the story is always the same. So we want to take uh, the binary. Uh, you know, obviously your your pipeline is going to be much more complex than this, but it'll eventually build a binary, and we take that binary and we actually upload it into our platform. Uh, once it's in the platform, it actually gets installed to a physical device. We perform our testing. So we're actually going through multiple different scenarios, attack scenarios, uh, you know, testing environments, basically the same way that a, a pen tester would do, uh, but we do it in a completely automated fashion. There's actually not a person involved in the testing itself at, at any point in time. So we can do it very, very quickly. Uh, you can see here this, this particular build uploaded the application uh, waited about 13 minutes for the test to to finish up and then was able to pull back results into Jenkins and actually make a determination of whether or not to, to succeed or fail the build based on the security results. So these are all configurable things inside of the plugin. Uh, you could actually just have this be as simple as pushing out the build and moving on. Uh, but we have a lot of different options and flexibility uh, and how we integrate into your workflows to help align with the systems that you have in place. So over the course of that testing, we're generating a lot of raw data. So we have a findings engine that takes that data, identifies the exploitable vulnerabilities, and is able to assign those a CVSS score. So an objective way of uh, considering how do we talk about the risk inside of this, this vulnerability, uh, how do we triage these risks objectively? So all of those exploitable vulnerabilities, they get a CVSS score. We roll those CVSS scores into this overall security score here. And that gives that one-stop shop for what is the security posture of my application, right? So 100 would be not a very risky application. Uh, a one would be throw your phone in the microwave immediately, right? So. We want to give that kind of one place, that one source of truth for, for the overall posture of the application. And the nice thing is when we're generating this information, we know pretty much everything that the application has done you know, in those test environments. So we are actually hooked in at the binary level into all uh, data being stored, data being sent, all the interactions with device APIs, with backend APIs. We know everything. Um, so the, the great part here is we can provide an incredibly deep level of testing even at that very, very fast DevOps speed. So I'll dive into one of these findings here. I'll just go to the password being sent over HTTP. Obviously, this is a, a clear problem broadcasting user passwords uh, in clear text, essentially, uh, over the internet. So we have a description, obviously, of what we found here. We also have this impact section to our findings. This is where we distill a vulnerability down for the non-security people that are involved in, in making applications. So developers, the, the product managers, the executives, everybody that may not have context for, you know, the deep security context for a vulnerability, we have distilled it down very, very simply, three sentences or less, here's the impact to your business if this vulnerability is exploited. So very clear way to talk to all of the different stakeholders uh, that go into making the application. We also have recommendations for remediation. So now Secure is lucky enough to have a world-class research team working on even open source projects, things like Frida and Radare, which you may have heard of. And through that, they've actually built a, an ebook on mobile secure development best practices. And we've pulled directly from that into the product so that we can uh, you know, not only identify bugs, but actually help resolve them uh, and make a better application, which hopefully is what we're all here to do. Uh, additionally, we do have a lot of regulatory mappings, uh, so things like PCI DSS for credit card transactions, uh, GDPR for privacy issues in, in Europe, uh, but even simple things like 
Google App Store requirements, right? Uh, so we want to make sure that our application is available, being used, and generating revenue for the business. And the best way to do that is to make sure it can't get taken off of the stores where people find the application. So want to make sure to cover all of your bases and make sure that you're very aware of the, the different risks uh, to the app. One I will highlight here uh, for anyone in the federal space, uh, we have NIAP uh, 1.3 mapped in the product. And we also have some really, really great ways to, to pivot this reporting and actually support an evaluator workflow for uh, NIAP certification. So a great way to go through all of those requirements, have all the context uh, for the vulnerabilities and, and generate that level of reporting. But of course, the, the thing that really sets us apart is this automated proof of concept for every vulnerability. So when we say, uh, you know, hey, we are we are seeing your uh, password go out of our HTTP. Uh, this is not because we identified 100 places where this might happen and, and your team's going to have to sort through that and figure it out. This is because we ran your application on a physical device and we saw your password go out in its original format to a specific endpoint as part of a specific payload. So we are not only giving you faith in this finding, making you know, letting you know exactly what's going on, that it's actually happening, but we're also giving you as much data as possible to be able to go out and fix this problem, you know, remediate this issue. You should know exactly um, what is happening, where it's happening, and be able to correct these issues very, very quickly. Now, in addition to the vulnerabilities that we surface, there's quite a bit of visibility into the application. So uh, we have some really, really great visibility into a lot of items, even just simple things like geolocating the network connections that your application is making. So where's my data going? Where's my data coming from? We can actually alert you to uh, data going places that you didn't expect. So if there's a country or continent place that you didn't want data to go, we can actually alert you, hey, Data, data was sent to that area that you, you said was not good. So, of course, as we generate all this data, um, it's great to have in this platform, but a lot, of our, uh, a lot of our clients want to make sure and insert this data into their developer's workflow. So we've gone through, we've uh, generated this test in about 15 minutes, um, and now we want to make sure to get that feedback to development teams very, very quickly. So uh, we also have native integrations with tools such as Jira uh, to send all this information we were just seeing, all, all this deep visibility, uh, validated findings can go directly into a developer workflow for potentially correcting bugs. So very, very flexible. And we want to make sure to kind of plug into the existing workflows that are already in place, you've already worked so hard to implement. We don't want to disrupt those. We want to just insert an additional data point, a valuable data point into that workflow so we can correct these issues much more quickly and easily. And the great thing about uh, the platform here, you know, so if, if it's not Jira um, or GitLab, Azure DevOps, any one of our native integrations, everything we do is API first. So um, everything you're seeing here is accessible actually through GraphQL. Uh, which is an extremely flexible, high-powered way that you can pull data uh, from the platform, plug it into uh, any other system that you might want to, uh, you know, logging vulnerability dashboards. Uh, we are very, very flexible, and, and it's extremely easy to integrate into platforms like that. So thank you, everyone, for taking the time to uh, look at the now-secure mobile application security platform and hope to talk to everyone soon.